All right. Good morning, you guys. Um, I just wanted to pass on this this news article on to you. It's kind of funny, you know. I, so far, we've been hearing about this uh, Egypt and all this, and how it was set up to, you know, to put in somebody else, put in this Muslim Brotherhood or whatever. Well, I'm sure you guys probably heard that there's over the weekend there was this you know, Obama special envoy to Cairo, and he's now calling for, you know, Mubarak to stay. Supposedly, you know, it's, supposedly they don't know, you know, know this guy too much or whatever, but I'll just read a little bit of this uh, to you. So, um, now Obama special envoy to Cairo calling for Mubarak to stay, uncovered to be on the Mubarak payroll. So this article starts off, it says, it, uh, it's a Monday, and like any day ended in Y, we get another Obama administration foreign relations screw up. Today's edition comes from President Obama's special envoy to Cairo, Frank Wisner, who over the weekend made waves with his call for urging Hosni Mubarak to remain president. The glitch, however, that, however, is that supposedly unbeknown to the administration and to the bunch of journalists over there. Mr. Wisner works for litigation firm Patton Boggs, which according to the Independent, openly boasts that it advises the Egyptian military, the Egyptian Economic Development Agency, and has handled arbitrations and litigations on the Mubarak government's behalf in Europe and U.S. So, in other words, this guy is you know, basically in the Mubarak administration, you know, uh, may as well be, anyway. So, Weis so uh, Weisner's words, now making the rounds, and which appear to have infuriated Egypt's opposition, just as things were going back to normal, or whatever. President Mubarak's continued leadership is critical. It's his opportunity to write his own legacy. In other words, yet another huge conflict of interest by a man paid by none other than President of Egypt, which has called into question Mr. Obama's judgment, as well as that of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and puts Obama's inability to handle foreign conflicts in an even more questionable light. So now that all this is going on, um, you know, for a week or so, we're just hearing all about how all this is, you know, well, this is all just staged, and, you know, Obama and, and Israel are over there, they're, they're just doing this to try and get rid of you know, Mubarak or whatever, and put in somebody more favorable. Well, now they want him to stay. So what's really going on, you know, over there? Or what are, you know, are they just did this whole thing in Egypt just to divert attention from, you know, some other thing that's going on? There was a lot of stuff going on when Hillary recalled all the, all the, um, you know, the ambassadors and all that. So, so basically what, what really is going on over here? You know, with all this in the Middle East and everything, it's, you know, every day it seems to reverse to something else. And uh, it's probably all just a bunch of diversions, really. It's probably all just, you know, stirring up people here, testing, you know, you know, testing the, the chaos over there. See, see what happens, you know, getting ready to do it here next. Just as good as uh, explanation as anything else, I guess. So anyway, here's this article for you to look at and pass around or whatever, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.